Hi, Willie Hodgson here with San Jose BMW. In this video, we're gonna be discussing BMW Motorrad and some of their amazing technology, what these acronyms mean, and how it might benefit you in your next ride. BMW Motorrad was the first motorcycle brand to put ABS into a production series bike. This was in 1988 on the K100 RS. Uh, one of the next steps they took was a, a system called integration or partially integrated integrating the front and rear brake. And this is typically done by when applying the front brake, it also applies a little bit of rear brake. It's in like a 70-30 braking ratio. So 70% front, 30% rear. And what that does is it reduces that stopping distance. It keeps the bike in a nice straight line. Now, when we say partial, what that's also referring to is that when you apply the rear brake, it's rear brake only. So the next kind of uh, real evolution of the braking systems was when they introduced the ride modes. With the introduction of ride modes, BMW and the rider now have the ability to specifically tune the bike for the rider's needs and conditions. Example of this would be the 2023 S1000RR. Specifically in the pro modes, we'll retune the ABS for those specific needs for on racetrack use. The next advancement came in the last couple years with an introduction of ABS Pro. One of the most important aspects of ABS Pro is the ability to maintain a line while leaned over and ABS has been activated. So on typical ABS systems, when you're leaned over and the ABS is activated in the unfortunate incidents, you have to have a handful of brake with the bike leaned over. Most ABS systems force the bike to stand up and therefore not maintain your line. With ABS Pro, one of the huge benefits is the intervention times are allowing you to continue leaned over, staying online, coming to a stop in a much safer way. In conjunction with ABS, BMW offers dynamic braking. Dynamic braking is a really cool system that basically is able to look at the speed in which a lever is applied and the pressure and determine what kind of stop this is and will shut down the throttle no matter what the throttle position's in. So they've been looking at the data and they found time and time again that during a panic type situation or a hard application of the brakes that the rider wasn't always able to close the throttle all the way, therefore pushing the bike further than need be when trying to stop shortly. So the dynamic braking system will shut down the throttle no matter what the throttle position is actually in. One more really cool feature that BMW just introduced on the 2023 S1000 is brake slide assist. This braking uh, evolution once again is done via steering head angle sensor. And this just communicates back to the bike what the steering head angle is and helps the bike better assist in stopping the bike and turning the bike. Overall, it's really exciting to see BMW continue to push the boundaries of our technology and the braking systems on these bikes. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. If there's anything in this video that you'd like to expand on further, please reach out. Everyone here at San Jose BMW is expert in the product and would love to help you. As BMW would say, make life a ride.